Joe's my coil pack's <laughs> tiny. Who's blown up their engine? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. We, today, are working on my RX-8. Sean's here trying to solve some of his braking issue. Yeah, this definitely looks like I'm fixing brakes. Uh, yeah, um, this may you be your problem. You if you've always done this when you're trying to fix brakes, <laughs> um, I don't think you're fixing all your, your brakes. brakes don't work. Yeah, don't remember, don't forget when you clean your windows, you've got to jack your car up on all fours and then take all wheels off. Oh yeah, that's it, yeah. Otherwise your windows won't clean. Exactly. Top tips. The idea of my sheets is to use these bad boys that I made yesterday. It is really annoying because in hindsight, it would have been really good to show you guys how I made these. Um, but it started out as plates like that, or sheets of metal, like this. And I've just cut them into this. I mean, <laughs> if you're not into metal, this isn't exciting at all. <laughs> it is just metal. <laughs> but um, it was quite fun to do and a bit of a change from what we're used to doing. Um, the plan is that I'm going to put these onto the uh, bottom of my car here. On the other seat I've got um, FIA approved tube on, uh, rails that I've had to use. Um, it does make me sit still high which was kind of the point of me getting bucket seats. <laughs> um, so I still can't wear a helmet so I've got to have to change that eventually anyway. Um, but that'll be another video. Today I'm trying to sort of solve that uh, issue here that I want to try and use the original bolt holes. The mounts actually go just here up to close to this stock uh, position but it also is touching and the, I, I was going to go and use a um, extra plate on the bottom just so that I'm not welding to the bottom of the car um, because like I say as we found on the driver's side this is like one mil if you're lucky thick and um, yeah it's not exactly the best to weld or bead weld on um, so I'm going to weld, bead weld to the plate and then tack it to the floor and that will be more than enough to hold uh, hold somebody in place like lateral forces and all that malarkey, yes, not even. Um, so that's it basically. We've got these ones here, I'm going to cut this to make a datum and then I want to put a bit of an angle on it so that your, your bottom of your seat isn't flat to the car so you've got a bit of an angle. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. We're going to get some people in the comments going, oh, yeah, that's the wrong way, dude. We're going to I was burnt another hole in myself. That's exactly what I did here. God, Sean, look, how, look. I've made that so square. Look at it. I'm actually so impressed with myself. Oh, this is just a datum. It's going to be chamfered at like that degree. Oh, that doesn't fucking matter, does it? I know. I was just admiring my own work, Sean. Yeah. You. Hello, Sean. Donk, donk, donk. Health and safety, people. No, that's all good. Ta da! I have done something. Here we have how not to drill out spot welds. But what it has done is allowed me to free up this space here for a plate to go all the way across. I don't have a plate all the way long enough, but I have two of these plates. So one goes there like that, the other goes there like that. And that'll be welded across for both of them. 
nut weld across this seam and then I'm just going to tack the seats to that. Job's a good one. Job is a good one. Sean's warming his hands up because he's cold. He's a it's cold. Because it is cold. You're wearing mittens. Look, they're work gloves. Mittens. They're work gloves. Are you okay? Very even. calling it a night tonight this is day two and typically <laughs> in in system fashion it's taking longer than a day <laughs> two days of the seat still not in yeah i have an excuse this time i've had to make stuff it wasn't just a one-off thing and we're not on the driveway um so i don't know where you were left i think we were welding up some plates um uh, for um, brackets to mount to um so what i've done is i've just primed up the areas with a bit of tape uh, over where I'm going to weld so that the bare metal is protected um, because obviously once the plates in that goes across everywhere it's um, going to be covering up where I need to prime so um, I will be doing something about these holes <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't drill spot welds on a very thin piece of metal um, avoid that at all costs if you can <laughs> but I think I'm just going to have to um, either fiberglass fill it and then undercoat for me on the side or something but it'll get sorted it'll be all right but um i'll be back tomorrow we're gonna finish it off um get the rest of it tacked in still got to make sure that this goes in level with all the seats so yeah we're back day number three um this is going to be the day it goes in hopefully um where we left last day as you know is we had it all cleaned up ready we sprayed it and it was ready for weld. Masked up the areas that I'm going to weld and sprayed over the other bare metal. Um, all I've done now is taken off the tape and giving it a bit of a clean with um, alcohol wipe and um, not hand sanitizer but panel wipe and giving it a brush to get rid of all the it was all sort of this stuff it was all still crumbly like that. Um, just so it doesn't set fire or melt. So I was just talking to everybody walking around doing my stuff, explaining and they were asking people for questions I didn't even hit record. So, yeah. Guess I've got to go. So this bottom back corner here is causing me a little bit of grief because it's a little bit, this side's level over here and this side is um, a bit, <laughs> a bit not. Is um, my technical diagnosis. Now it's about a fi fingers worth. That's what she said. <laughs> so what I'm going to do? Is I'm going to tack there, tack here, tack there, and then tack there. And what I'm going to put underneath that far corner, on the far right corner, is I'm going to create some shims. Disappointed in myself. I was speaking and then didn't record. Idiot. Ooh, pretty. I was asking people questions earlier and I didn't film it like a stupid moron. I want to know if you've seen us around. Who are you? Leave us a message. And subsequently, I want to know what you've been getting up to over the lockdown period. Have you been getting on with some projects? We're back. We're doing And this is my solution. Clamp it. Tack it. Sounds a little bit 
sugar. It will serve a purpose. Ooh. It's attached. <laughs> Ow, that's hot. I f***ed up. Ow. There you go. Knew it wasn't stuck. Now my suspicion is that it's... Ow. Oh natural al. Makeshift spacer. Uh, in hindsight probably would have been easier just to cut off the exact size I needed off of that round bar, but oh well. Live and learn. Yeah, we're just taking off the impurities, so I've sprayed it with WD 40 last night to stop it rusting when I prepped or cleaned up. Cleaned up these worlds. Now that is clean, mock it back up with this. I think it was this way. And here is. <coughs> Lovely job. That'll do, Squire. And there is my bodged plate. Doesn't need to look pretty. Doesn't need to do anything fancy. Just needs to work. <laughs> It's perfect. No. No wobble. Ugh, see? Blown through. Only a little bit. Enough to be annoying. Didn't blow through! Woo! It's a bit of a messy world, but. I had to put quite a bit of material down so it wouldn't move it quite a lot so I didn't put too much heat in the same area where I was here you can see me dancing around I haven't found the corner I, mean, I just sat there too much and it got a little little peaky hole little hole off my wiener this is what happens when I get left alone I go mental Contact with it there, but it'll hold. Now that is a hot, spicy meatball. Oh, it fing stinks. Oh, oh, woo, woo. Got a bit of ventilation in here, darling, because I've just farted. Ha! Right, maybe this fume isn't good for me. Be gone, foul stench. <laughs> Not too bad. Yeah, I was saying that I couldn't bead weld, but turns out this stuff I can. It's two mil thick. This stuff I can't. It's one mil thick or under one mil. You push it with my hand. It may be in. It may be okay. Literally got to take off like a five mil fitment. It's okay. That. Perfect. All this effort to put these things in. I know everybody's going to be like, oh, why are you putting them in there? They're 50 quid for a pair. Look at them. You can tell. But, you know what? They're serving a purpose. It means I can have a passenger. Because I'm lonely. I need friends. And, um, yeah. Happy with that. Come here, boys. You're coming with me. So run into a little bit of a problem. This is a size, well, I think I need, but um, 
This is an M10, this is an M8. This is an M8 1.5 thread, and I need an M8 1.25, which looks like that spacing. And you can see it is too small, it does not match. What I do have is M8 1.5, which matches it. So, this is what we have to do on the other one. And I've got to use your stock bolt. Oh, a tiny bit bigger. That will help at least with a bit of movement. What I have managed to do is use that bolt, that eyelet, to this side, which is great. Uh, it's not going to come out. And it just means I've got to go get the other harness and fit that in before I put the seat in because otherwise I can't do it. And um, it took us like an hour to do it on the, on the driver's side. 14 degrees. Um, just guess it's because it's on a structural sort of supporting supporting the original seat. Um, it has a longer, shorter threads because they technically have more surface area and it means more force needed. All the eyes are in, I've got the harness in on the other side and I've got the eye lip. I think it's called an eyelet on the other side. This has now got to drop a little diagonal like that. Now, time to put my gloves back on. Very good. So yeah, overall I'm pretty happy with how they'll come out. That one's quite a big gap to fill, so I'm happy with how that one came out. This one here is probably my my favourite. Very nice tight bead. Across all of them. This one was an absolute mess because of the angle that I had to get in. And I had to get inside there as well. So I'm happy. Next up, get the seat in, attach the harnesses, and f off home. Needs to give it a spray of WD-40 just to protect it for tonight. I don't know whether I'm going to paint them over. Um, eventually, I probably will, but I'm going to underseal underneath here anyway, so it um, can all be done at a later date. This should be enough. It's still quite warm, as you can see. Smoking. Just give it a little bit of a wipe down. Just give them excess. Give it a dab. Got some nice hewing on there. Nice bit of a, uh, I thought it was called hay. Hay is a type of that sort of orange, that sort of straw colour, that's what it is, straw, not hay. Oh my god! It's in! Is in. We have success. It's in. I'm really happy. The world's come out really well. I'm glad that I didn't do a plate. Well, I did do a plate. Let's see. I think. I'm really glad that I've actually been able to finally make something from scratch for my car. It's uh, brilliant. Now look. And this one even adjusts. My one doesn't. Mm. Boring. The wheels are quite nice. It wobbles a bit, but like I say, I'm gonna fix it at some point out front properly. Woo -woo. 
super happy. Now I've connected the battery, I've got to do the typical rotary thing, and restart the ECU or reset it. And then we are out of here. Once they've done that little dance that he does, I'm then able to So it's been a couple of days now guys, um, just wanted to say thanks for getting to the end of the video. Uh, I know my last video was a little bit of a long and boring one. Hopefully this one's been a bit more entertaining and less of me rambling on about random <laughs> beepity beep. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, the seat's come out all right. I haven't had anybody sitting it yet, but that's, um, that's what you get for having no friends. Um, Next up, I think, is gonna be a couple of things to my aero, or actually a bit of maintenance stuff, possibly. I've got a, uh, a leaky exhaust manifold, so probably gonna try and get that sorted uh, in the near future. Uh, plan is to get it on track by, or within May, or March, sorry. Just because it um, gives me a couple months and the weather's gonna be turning a little bit better then, and I don't have to worry about um, getting wet and, changing tires and all that malarkey. Um, it gives me a good time scale to work to as well. It gets me to uh, have a good amount of money saved up. Um, as you can see, it's been a couple of days. Dan's now got his one in here. Um, there's been some new additions to the I've had my diff from and subframe from my second Direx 8. Yeah, the second one. Um, it's got the 433 final drive diff in it. Um, going to be doing something very special with that. Uh, keep tuned if you want to get that notification bell on if you want to have some info on that. Um, that will be a little bit further down the line. Next plan is with this stuff, I think is our projects are slowing up a little bit while we recuperate some money back from Christmas and we are going to do some home improvements to that area. So keep tuned. Thanks again for watching. And comment down below what you liked about the video and what you think I should be aiming for to do next. <laughs>